how kettlebell swings work. So here at Kettle Shell, we help you transform your dumbbell set into a kettlebell set safely. All right, so the swings, this is probably the, I would say the default kettlebell workout. It's actually unique in that you don't do, nobody does swings with dumbbells. Um, so remember I said one, you know, there's some cross pollination between exercises that can be done, both kettlebell and dumbbells. But swings, I've literally never seen anyone do swings with dumbbells. So this is a, a unique one, kettle, basically kettlebell only. All right, so with the swings, basically we're doing explosive hip, explosive hip um, movement, and this really like train your lower body to generate a lot of power. So to start out, basically you wanna have your feet shoulder width apart, and then holding the dumbbell, like in the center of your body, center mass, like center line. And then you're gonna to want to contract your lats and actually bring the dumbbell or the kettlebell between your legs. And this gives the kettlebell some you know, starting momentum. And then as you're bringing it between your legs, you're actually bending a little bit. Bring it between your legs by keeping your back straight. You don't want to arch your back. That's like going like this, arch in the bottom, in the lower part of your back because that's where injuries occur. Basically you're turning by doing by going backwards, squatting down a little bit, bend the knees a little bit, and throwing the kettlebell down behind you. Well, actually, it's up behind you. Um, you're actually like turning your hip into a spring and storing that potential energy. And then you thrust your hips forward, and you let your arms relax, and it'll shoot the energy through the through the kettlebell, and it'll probably you know end up somewhere up here, like shoulder height or a little bit above shoulder height. And then you control you basically just let it go down. I mean, you control it a little bit, but I mean, obviously gravity will do its thing. And then you just repeat that process. And you really wanna focus on technique, so just start out doing like super low weight, get the technique right. And if you wanna do these exercises with uh, that you have access to a dumbbell set, but you don't have any kettlebells, check out our metal dumbbell conversion handle at the link below, and we'll see you there.